Hey everyone, it's Denise, and here we are back at Starlight. I wanted to show you the very last thing here that I have not showed you yet. Uh, I showed you the animal house, the hospital, many faces places, um, uh, Big Bad Bam's general goods store, the weapons and armor place, and I have not shown you what I went crazy on here, and um, I've been wanting to record this for a long time now, so um, here's what I did. This is called the Back of the Bus Diner. And um, I have put pictures on here. I've got the lights, the um, box lights. Um, none of this stuff was easy to put on here. I mean, you look at it and you think it is, but to get it on there flush and to where it looks nice, like all these put on there like that, this was so hard to do. And, um, I remember when Draco Invictus first started his Starlight build, that's one of the things he said he was trying to do was put pictures and stuff on these windows. And um, that kind of like inspired me to try to do it. And now I understand why <laughs> he didn't want to fool with it because it is very hard to do. I mean, I had to like crouch down, go sideways. I had to like jump up. I had to go this way, I had to go inside and just contort my character's body in the weirdest ways. Sometimes I had to stand far back, other times I had to stand real, real close, look down, look up, look to the side. I mean, I just had to do all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, it took me hours upon hours to do this. The result is cute, it's pretty, it's colorful. But only if you want to put a lot of time and effort into it do you want to do something like this. Um, so anyways, um, my friend Manny told me about the, how to do the liquor signs like this. And he had it in one of his build videos. I'll send a, put a link uh, in the description for Manny. And also for Draco. Um, anyone I mention in my videos, guys, I'm always going to reference back to their channel, their video everything like big bad bam we've we've seen this but just because i said his name in my video i'm still gonna put a link down there in case nobody knows about him still gonna um you know promote these wonderful builders that have inspired me that i love so much and i've learned so much from i'm always always going to do that there's some people out there that won't do that but i will so anyways, I just wanted to get that out there. So um, anyways, uh, here we go. I pretty much went um, crazy on this thing. Some people may, you know, not like to do stuff like this, but I do. I like to be a little bit gaudy with the pictures and stuff and the decorations. So I just went all out here. I just went all out and I just put everything up there. Um, also putting these railings up here like that that was not easy either um, oops ran into one of those things oh I stuck the water over there <clears throat> so you can see uh, uh, all the work I put I put into this <laughs> this um, pretty crazy And then to like I like I've said before in my other videos, I hate building stuff that's real high, or I don't hate it. It just it gets on my nerves because the wiring or whatnot, you have to wire everything up so high, and you have to build scaffolding to get to it. So it's just kind of annoying to me. Am I crouched? What is going on? I oh, I went through a hole. Um, yeah. Here's a little Go planting work. area. So yeah, you can see I just um. I did all this and, and the pictures go all the way up so I had to build the scaffolding and wire everything up like all the way up there. So yeah, that was pretty crazy. So let's go on the um, the inside. A couple of tables and chairs out here. I did have this decorated with junk but for some reason at night 
there was like this one guy seller that would come in here and cook on the stove and then he'd knock all the stuff off. He doesn't come in here now. The, the junk items aren't in here, you know. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I uh, didn't do much up here. Just, it's like a couple lights up here. A flashing light, I think. I really, really tried to put pictures just everywhere. They're overlapping. They're a lot of them are flush. Some are kind of sideways, sticking out. But I really didn't care. I just went crazy. Okay, so this is the back of the bus diner. And so the back of the bus settlement is all these buses. <laughs> um, and these are pretty much the same kind of thing I did at Jamaica Plain. This is the um, cat lady's house, I believe. Yeah, cat lady. And of course, no cats are in here when they're supposed to be. <laughs> They knew we were making a video, so they ran off. Alright, and this one is maybe a hunter's cabin or a hunter's bus. I don't know. Um, and I had junk items all in here too. But I, when this settlement started acting up on me and everyone started doing weird stuff and whatnot... I took down all the junk items Hi, here in the buses. Huh. What are you guys doing in there? Oh my. Yes. Uh, I guess he's stuck down there. I don't know. <laughs> This is this is the weird stuff I'd ha I'd have to contend with at the settlement. These are the druggies um bus. And like I said I had a bunch of decorations in there but took them down or junk items rather. got uh, some more dining areas up here. I had all these tables decorated with stuff too. Put a flamingo inside of a chair. And that uh, that was something that uh, I saw no cutscenes do a while back. I can't remember. I think I did it on another video too. And uh, I mentioned him as well. I'll always, like I said, I'll always leave um, a link in the video and everything. This is kind of like what Lois does. You stack the pictures on the ground and then try to build on, on top of it from there to make them look like they're sitting on there. And kind of like over here too. Sometimes that works best for inside the buses especially. Um, and I mentioned Lois so I'll leave a link to her channel as well. Um, so here is another weird uh, bus. I don't know what I was doing in here, messing around with being strange, I guess. Um, yeah, I do. I don't know what I was doing here. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, there's just random stuff just stuck everywhere. The back of the bus. There's their sign. Uh, some more drug drug people's place. All right, and that is pretty much it, guys. Um, I just that was the last part of Starlight that I wanted to show you guys. Um, if it got real dark, you could well, it is nighttime, but it's not real dark. But this place is really pretty at night. Well, it's pretty right now. It's not real real um, light, but. Um, 
It's so colorful and, and pretty. So anyways, um, I hope you guys like it. That is the full tour of Starlight, I, I do believe. Um, back here we had the safe haven. And I, th I think the only thing I didn't show you guys was the restroom. Which is probably nothing special. Nope. And the little generator, or the big generator I hid behind here and stuck all these <laughs> weird signs on there. And then we've got our our safe haven in there. And our safe haven up here. And if you haven't checked out those videos, guys, go check those out. I took all the Nuka-Cola out of here, which was sad because they look so pretty in there with all that blue. And I still haven't got to decorate many faces places so uh, but it seems like some of the people reassign themselves to um, their jobs some of them did yeah some people reassign themselves to food but I did have every single person was out here just standing so see it shows he's assigned to that but most everyone is just unassigned, unassigned. And if you assign them to something, then you come back or whatever and they're they're unassigned again. So uh, this place is just strange. So <laughs> maybe one day it will right itself. Um, but anyways, that's the entire starlight that I have so far, you know. And if I was able to build a little bit more here, I could probably make it look a little bit more cohesive where it's not just... Oh, slap a building there, slap one there, you know, make it look like it's a little bit more connected. Um, I did notice that when I build walls, that really messes with the frame rate a whole, 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 whole lot. Like, I didn't build a whole wall at Echo Lake, so I it seems like I had a lot more room to build stuff. So I'm actually contemplating on taking the wall down here at the settlement to see if that might help and get everyone back to acting normal. I don't know. Anyways, um, that is the full tour of Starlight. I hope you guys liked it. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching and I hope you guys are well. Take care. Bye.